Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a lesson activity to share with you today. We are working through our mineralogy main lesson block and we are going to be working on the ring of fire today. So I have my main lesson book here. It is nine inches by 12 inches. And today we're going to be working on a two page spread. And so I'm going to remove the onion skin that protects these pages together because I want to be able to see the whole page for this project. I have my flip chart here, and this is the image that we're going to be copying. There's also the same image in our main lesson book. Our main lesson books are by Live Education. It is a Waldorf curriculum, and you can find the details to that curriculum listed in the description box below. Now, in retrospect, I think it would have been better to print off a map and to copy it precisely, or just to print off a map and include it in our main lesson book. Map making is quite a skill. For this particular lesson, accuracy and precision was more important than artistry. Now we are trying to show the ring of fire and what was really important for me, aside from getting the continents in roughly the right shape and location, I really wanted to show how vast the Pacific Ocean was. I was not paying attention when my daughter drew this part of the project and I realized that her whole drawing was much more contracted than I would have liked and that was one of the main reasons why we're doing a two page spread so we really can see the vastness of the Pacific Ocean and the ring of fire. So now I am using my chalks rather than my color pencils. Our previous lesson included chalks and I found this to be a very quick way to cover the entire page. I think that it would have taken much more time to use our color pencils. However, we could have been a lot more accurate had we used our color pencils, but then this would have elongated the project unnecessarily rather than copying a map by tracing it or just including it into our main lesson book and then coloring in the map because the primary goal of this is to really show the ring of fire to really show the ring of where all of this volcanic activity is happening once we were done with the chalk drawing i am going to add some matte fixative to it and let it dry thoroughly before we go on to labeling and this was the primary point of this lesson is that we really wanted to label all of these different volcanoes that are both in North America and South America and then on the Asian continent and into New Zealand as well. So I, I started by looking up each of the volcanoes that are listed in the main lesson book. Then I went to maps and I searched for these particular locations in maps. Then I had to zoom out until I could see where they were according to the continent and the state. And then I began to label them. Now, some of these different locations are very close to one another and our map isn't quite that detailed. And so some of them got a little bit constricted with one another. And so instead of adding too many different mountains, mountain ranges or volcanoes within one state, I might have just chosen one for each state or location. And that would have been a little bit easier in labeling them and also getting a good view of the ring of fire. So once it was done, I thought that it illustrated the point fairly well. And with our challenges, I would just hope that you could learn from our experience and choose a project that worked well with the resources that you have. This did end up being a little bit longer of a project than I had intended. And in part, it was because of looking up each of these locations and making sure that we labeled the map correctly. I hope that you enjoyed this project. I do hope that you'll give it a try. If you do, please let me know. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video. You can find all of the materials that we use and the resources, links to those materials, and more tutorials and videos for our mineralogy, geology, and earth science main lesson blocks. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.